gotta get a new cooler so I have some way to carry all my milking supplies. This is our last super hot day and it's breezy. You can tell there's a new system probably moving in, which is nice. It's gonna be still in kind of mid 90s today, but tomorrow that has like in the 70s, which is amazing. There's some wind for sure this morning. It's working hard to open the door. These guys have been screaming. I don't know what their deal is. What's your problem? What's your problem? You guys have been yelling. You have been. Just, I think Poppy, mostly who I've heard. Just screaming at the top of her lungs this morning. Where are you guys hmm? I don't understand. I don't understand why so much screaming. Really, really don't. You guys are ready for breakfast. Okay, let's get you sorted and get your breakfast going. I've noticed I'm tying up Padme's legs a little bit differently and it's made like a huge difference. And so you can put like a goat hobbles on them, which is what a lot of people do. And it basically just ties their legs together. And I've done that before and my goats jump up and down so it doesn't really help. And so what I'm doing is tying her leg to the stand and then I have a hobble that connects both of her legs and then ties the other leg to the stand. And so that way, every time she kicks one leg, it pulls on the other leg. And it has almost completely eliminated her kicking in like two or three days. It's been really awesome. I've been using those pig treats because I'm out of animal cookies. Didn't have time to go to the store the last couple of days. And they're a little bit more addictive than the animal crackers. And that is where all the bad behavior has come into play because they want those pig treats, which I think is hysterical. Yeah, is it funny, Link? I think so. Okay, let's get everybody out for the day. I'm trying to 
give the camera some breaks. It overheated yesterday in about seven minutes outside and so I've been doing some Googling and it's just a problem with this particular camera and it's because it's really hot outside and really supposed to shoot in short clips and when I shoot milking it takes about 25 to 30 minutes and it just overheats. So there's a setting I can change that will let it run a little hotter that we may try. I also don't want to like lose everything on my SD card because it overheats and malfunctions. It's balanced. Doing our best guys. Doing our best. This is the other Halar dress that I got. Um, a little bit worried about this one because it like, has this whole bodysuit underneath it, which makes it a lot thicker. It's more, obviously more open on the shoulders and the back. So it is cooler in that respect, but we'll see. We're gonna try it out today, see how it goes. Hi buddies. to me how differently they approach this. Pork chop eats all the food and then drinks the milk. Chini drinks all the milk and then eats the food. He likes the mash. She kind of sees it as two different things, which I think is really hysterical. You guys have just been chilling. People were bragging on your eating behavior in the comments about how you guys share food so well. You do. You're almost good boys. Do you think these dresses would also be really good for swimming? Like if you would prefer to swim in something that had like a little skirt to it. The fabric is definitely very similar to like a swimsuit fabric. I don't know if it would like hold water, but I don't think it would given how well it repels the sweat. Like I don't feel like it's absorbing my sweat at all. Like it's wicking it away, but I don't feel like it's necessarily holding on to it. It's like a dry fit, so that's pretty positive. Sorry that Monday's video didn't have an evening segment. We went and hung out with my brother and sister-in-law and they cooked us dinner and saw my nieces and nephew. It's been a while they just moved. So we got to see their new rental house and they're building a new house. It's just been a while since we've hung out. So we got to hang out with them a little bit and so that was why. Um, so let's get these guys out for the day real quick. Funny. Always want to attack all the buckets. Are you guys coming? Thank you guys. I've all been in heat and you've been a little wild. Yeah, there's just been a lot of headbutting. This pasture after I mowed it the last time has grown up so well. What do you think pepperoni? Are you the king of the spool? King of the spool mom. They're coming. The wind's really blowing. They're so funny. No, oh, pepper. Pepper! Come on buddy! Come on, bud! He's like, no. I know that you know they're down here, bud. No, Cece's up there. Come on, Dace. They're really getting excited about coming out here. I think the shade has a lot to do with what they've done really well about being out here. I'm happy Father's Day to you guys. It's Father's Day today, it's Sunday, and we're gonna go hang out with my father-in-law, hang out with my dad on Friday and gonna hang out with him today and get his Father's Day up. Are you guys excited? Did you just figure out the door was open? Is it fun? Is it fun, Tinkerbell? I mean, this girl looks beautiful coat-wise. Did we get pepperoni down here? Yeah, he's down with his mom. So I don't really have anything planned for today. I thought we would kind of talk about what my plan for a new animal on the farm is. We really, when we moved here, Jeremy felt like, nope, like we're at a capacity with goats. 
we might get one more pig, but like we don't really need any more animals and we probably need to trim down some of the ones that we do have. The plan is kind of to obviously sell the two babies. I need to list them, I haven't get them gone. So as far as new animals, the thing that we're struggling with here is grass maintenance and not being able really to maintain the grass because goats are browsers. They're not grazers. Like a cow is a grazer and will pretty much mow down anything other than like really specific plants. But they look for weeds. They're in here, they're not just munching on grass, they're looking for weeds. They're gonna clean up everything underneath the trees. They love bark and roughage, but they're not really just gonna eat this Bermuda grass unless it's like the only thing that's offered. It's just not their thing. They'd rather have the weeds. There are plenty of weeds out here mixed in with the grass, but nothing is eating the grass other than those two pigs. And those two little pigs can't keep the grass mowed, mowed down, basically, the way that a cow can. And we've always had cattle. If you guys have been with us prior to moving here, we have a herd of about 20 cattle. We've been able to rotate a cow here and there. We've always had bottle calves. And so I've generally always had a calf in with the goats to maintain the grass goats maintain the weeds. My ecosystem worked really well because the cows helped with parasite load. So some options that I've been thinking about are to get some sheep because sheep will eat grass. Sheep are more grazers and trying to decide between like a wool sheep and a meat sheep. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I love to crochet and to knit and I've gotten really into hand dyed yarn. It's really complicated to have a fiber animal because you have to handle shearing and then processing it's not any less expensive to process your own wool into yarn. Do you want a fiber animal? Do I want to have to deal with shearing once a year, once or twice a year? Or do I just want to get some hair sheep that are meat sheep and put them out here and let them just eat and then sell babies every year from them? And do I want to reproduce with them? Do I want to have a little, you know, lambs every year and deal with lambing and have a ram and all of that? So sheep is an option. And then my other option is to get a few more pigs. And so to get a few more girl pigs or another boar and another a sow or two, it is still open for debate about whether or not Toonie is a good sow. She's always gonna have a home here, don't worry. And I have a couple of breeder, Instagram breeder friends that raise registered Cooney Coonies. So Pork Chop came from a registered herd, but Tooney did not. They're both purebred. Do I get with my Instagram friends and get some piglets that are registered, that we know are high quality, that are gonna be bred or breeders? And do I really dive into Cooney Coonies and start getting kind of the different, the different lines of Cooney Coonies? Because there are different looking Cooney Coonies. Do we get some floppy eared ones where their ears hang over their face? And so that's kind of the other thought is to just start with another pig and to see if like a better sow and farrowing would go better for us to have piglets and to start maybe raising them out for butcher here on our farm. Keeping sheep and goats together is kind of a challenge. And so I would probably need to do something where the sheep have a, the sheep had a temporary pen with the temporary shelter out here. And in the summer, they lived out here in electric net fencing and their rotational kind of grazing. And then in the winter, we pulled them up and put them with the pigs and we're able to keep them out of the goat mineral because goats need copper and copper is toxic to sheep. So I have another friend here in the area who does both goats, sheep, and, and cattle and I need to get with her and see how she does that. So those are my options for new animals. Let me know what you think. We're looking at probably the end of the summer before we would do any of that. If we do any of it, hit me up in the comments and let me know. What kind of new friends do these guys need? Bedtime for goats. Goaty goaties. It's supposed to rain tonight. And it'll be super cool tomorrow. I'm excited. That means I have to make sure all the doors are closed out here. Hello. It's your bedtime. Your bedtime for goats. I'm so over this poison ivy. My sweet sister-in-law and brother-in-law brought me some steroid cream that he used the last time he had some poison ivy. It's making things better. 
but it was not fun today. Let's just say that. Hello? It's bedtime for pigs. Oh, Stoney. Stoney, back up. We do not go in the backyard. We don't. Come on, I'll workshop. Come on. Pig a wiggle bedtime. They're so over me, not bringing them anything. Come on, Tooney, let's go, babe. We'll fill up your water. Let's go fill your water up. Come on. Piggy, piggy, piggies. I am the cutest pig. Mr. Porkchop. Here he comes. There comes the big pig. And his girlfriend, who's a little bit grumpy, but we still love her. Oh, she's a good pig. Oh, she's a good pig. So, Tony is a good pig. And so is pork chop. Mm -hmm. Everybody gets love. Yeah, did bring us a wool oven. Did bring us a wool oven. Tony pig. See, pork chop knows it's night night time. Oh, that's from pork chop's belly. <laughs> Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh, are you jelly? Are you jelly? Oh, pork chop deserves a belly rub every now and then. He does. He does deserve a belly rub. Look how happy it makes him. He's a happy pig. Hello, jealous kitty cat. Hello. We'll get you some cat treats. Go up to the house. Goodness, animals. Y'all are so dramatic. Oh, I did want to ask you guys a question. Other than new animal farm question. We just booked a vacation uh, here at the end of the summer in a few weeks, month or so. Uh, and we're going to like the mid coast in Maine for like four days. Are you, any of you Northeastern people things that we should do while we're in Maine? Uh, I have a college friend that is from Portland. She gave me some, some tips. Is there any any Mainers out there that have some tips or people from the Northeast? There's some fun things that we should do. We're like, we're flying into New Hampshire and we're spending a day in Boston and then we're driving up. Anything, let us know. All right, Goobers. We'll put my Goobers to bed. Sassy goat, right there. This one, full of sass. Also this one. It's been wild, like the last few weeks. Just fighting each other. Headbutt everybody. You have been, see? And you're normally one of my tweet girls. I'm on with you, on the other hand. Always a little on me. But like more so, I don't know. She is looking like incrementally better with the copper and the warmer.